Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and it's rare that I'm so excited about a lock, but this arrived through my door today, and ah, oh, it's been years, literally three years, I've been trying to get hold of one of these locks. They had just not seen anywhere outside Portugal, for what I know, I was in Portugal about three or four years ago, I saw one of these, I didn't buy one at the local hardware shop when I had the chance, um, it was quite expensive to be fair, uh, at the time and I, I just regretted it ever since and then due to various other circumstances I've not been able to get back to Portugal since to get one but Squelch Tone on Twitter managed to find me a Portuguese website from a, a, a small locksmith who actually did sell me one and send it all the way to the UK so I am absolutely thrilled. Why am I so excited? Well it's just the, the unique form factor of the lock. Look it's dual bitted but it's got two separate keyways, completely separate keyways. If you look at the key, you'll see it's completely split like a fork uh, with two tines. And um, yeah, it just acts as two completely separate locks, one facing up, one facing down. Um, it's got some basic warding in, but it's so, so cool. And there's just nothing else I've seen quite like it. The only thing which it does remind me a little bit of, although it's by no means as hard to pick, is one of these Ingsoll impregnables, which of course are 10 levers, um, but the key is just a little bit reminiscent. I, I think you'll see why, um, because of that sort of kind of broad face and the, the double bitting, albeit it isn't uh, two separate keyways and it doesn't have that split down the middle. But nevertheless, you can see why I'm a, you know, a little bit, you know, anyway. That's that's the closest to that lock that I could find. Um, but yeah, really, really cool. I think we should have a, a pick of this, and um, well, we'll see if we'll see what it's like. So we're in the vice, and I'm just going to um, let's just check. There's nothing binding at the back with the tailpiece. I only opened about that far because of the tailpiece, but that's okay. Um, just got a piece of bent wiper blade to go in the top of the bitting here. That should should suffice. Just going to use a Peterson gem in 18,000th. See where we get to. So pin. Uh, well, can't really feel anything binding there. Pin two maybe. Let's go to the bottom and see what we got. Pin four. Feel that's binding. Two there. Pin one a little bit. What's at the top now? Pin three, nothing else. Okay, what else we got down there? Four again at the bottom, two, ah, uh, pin four at the back now, and we are open. Well, at the top, sorry, and we're open. Look at that. Now, you might be thinking, oh, should we gut it? I actually can't. And that sounds like a terrible excuse, but one, uh, hopefully you could tell from that pick, all of these are just standard pins, standard key pins, standard drive pins, no security pins whatsoever. The reason I can't gut this um, isn't because necessarily the size of these plug, which admittedly I don't have a follower for, but I could find something. It's these screws are driven in so hard, I can't find a single small screwdriver I have that doesn't torque out. They've just driven these in so hard, it's absolutely insane. And that's the same for the other part of this lock. This lock here, the external side, quite beefy, has four pins at the top, four pins at the bottom. This is the internal facing cylinder, and it looks like a little rim cylinder, very cute. But look, it's got a Bible at the top, nothing on the bottom, and no pins at all. Look, no pins at all on the bottom, only those three which you can see here. Uh, get the pick down there, there, one, two, and three at the top which means that this is um, very, 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 very easy to rake. Now, of course, you don't need to have um, like top security um, for the internal side at all, do you? You know, <laughs> if you're already in the house, um, it's a bit too late to worry about the security. But um, nevertheless, it's sort of fun to uh, rake this lock because you can tension it on the bottom without worrying about any of the, the pins, because there aren't any, and, uh, and just, Look at that, just touch those three pins and it just opens in seconds. Which begs the question, can you rake this lock since it's all standard pins? Um, I, I don't know, let's have a go. So just gonna use the sparrows uh, worm again, give it a rake at the top, um, 
get onto the pins at the bottom, give it a rake, and yes, we are instantly open. Wow, I mean, it's 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 very impressive, isn't it, with that that double bitted key, but because of the lack of height in the chambers, you're limited to the depths of cut that you are allowed in the lock, and of course, without the the it, you know without quite permissible deep and uh, depths cut in the key. Gosh, that didn't sound right at all. Um, it just basically means you've got uh, very poor sort of maximum adjacent cuts that are available for the lock and you end up with a lock like that, really, um, that it'll rake within seconds. Nevertheless, nevertheless, the point about me being excited about this lock is just because it's so, so hard to find. I've never seen one of these ever before on any forum, not seen one on YouTube, um, I've only ever seen them in Portugal. I'm absolutely thrilled to be able to be, you know, to play with one of these. Um, I just love the form factor. Uh, and despite this only having three pins, just, just, I think this looks amazing with its sort of um, cast Rhodes or Rhodes logo on there and, and that double bitted key. So, you know, it's a really nice one to have in the collection for sure. Well, I hope you found that video interesting. I certainly loved showing this lock off to you. Um, albeit it's a not very secure one, uh, just because it's just so, so cool. Um, and yeah, whilst I'm a bit sad I couldn't really gut it, I'm not that sad either, because this is gonna go into my collection, and frankly, I don't want to tear the uh, the heads off these screws by trying to get into a lock to find out it is just standard pins, which you all know is what's in it anyway. Right, see you all next time.